What's up guys, my name is Barry Michael Doyle and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a YouTube search application with React Native. Now we're going to be using Expo tools to make this happen and save ourselves a lot of time. And uh, I recommend you check out my previous videos which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Now this search application that we're going to make is just a simple YouTube search application. Here I'm scrolling up and down the screen. Uh, it basically, by default, it searches my name, Barry Michael Doyle. So my two previous videos actually show up here. That's getting started with React Native and Expo and using ESLint for React and React Native applications. Now, I recommend you check those out before you bother going through this video because otherwise you'll be a bit confused. This also works so you can just search any term. I'm searching Daniel Peacock because he's my friend and he has his own YouTube channel. Let's see if he actually shows up. So I click and it loads. And there's Daniel Peacock. You'll see all his great vlog videos. He got me into YouTubing, so subscribe and like his videos if you want to support him out. That'll be cool. There's my order correct and stuff. Anyway, let's get started with coding. Right, so here we have Expo XD opened. And what you want to do first is create a new project. So we click on project and we go to new project. And then we wait for this, which always finishes loading, just as I say, let's wait for it. And let's make a new project. Remember, I'm keeping mine in documents slash YouTube, but you can keep yours any way you want. As I said, as long as you remember where it is, that's all that matters. I'm going to call this simple YouTube search. Uh, that will be our application name. And we make sure it's blank and we just click create. Now... As you guys might remember from the last project we created to set this up, this takes forever. So this might be a good time to go grab some coffee or hot chocolate or whatever. And I'll catch you guys when this is done. Ciao. Cool. So we successfully time travel to the future where our application is finally built. And uh, what I recommend you do is you check on your mobile device if this actually runs just to make sure that everything is set up correctly. I've done it here on my emulator. And it seems to be working fine. This should all look familiar to you because this is what it always looks like when you create a new application. Now let's get started with some coding. Let's open Visual Studio Code and we'll open our folder, which was saved here in Documents, YouTube, Simple YouTube Search for me, or wherever you've saved yours. And the first thing I want to do is, well, okay, as we can see, here's our application open up app.js to start working on your app and we've got it there so that's our application file now before we get started with coding i want to just quickly add documents slash youtube slash we call this simple youtube search and what i want to do here is i'd like to npm install dash dash save dash dev eslint config rally coding now this is familiar from the last video we just want to make sure that that's installed so that we can save a lot of headaches with our coding later on now while that's busy installing let's go set up the configuration file we call it eslint rc again dot eslint rc always forget to say the dot and we want to say extends ESLint dash config dash rally coding all sorted. Now it might not be done yet. Yep, still working on it. So that's fine. We can worry about that later. Uh, Visual Studio might give me a warning that it can't find it, but it should find it later. Now the next thing I want to do is remove all the stuff we don't need. So we don't need these styles yet. Uh, so I'm going to remove them from here. I'm going to remove this unnecessary text. And then I'm going to remove, oh, clearly ESLint set up because, check it out, we've got our red stuff, ESLint saying style sheets not defined, or is defined but never used. Can remove those too because it's just pointless. This is just saying that because it's supposed to be self-closing, but we'll fix that later. First thing I want to do is, this always bugs me, this react.component. I want it to just be component. And the way to do that is we import the component from the React package. So we don't have to say react.component anymore. That's just a really cool tip we have. Now let's plan out our application. The first thing I want to do is basically comment in what we want to do. What are our three, our three little things? This is how to make JavaScript comments, by the way. We want to have a header 
and we want to have a search bar and we would like to have the list of videos and inside the list of videos there'll be a video item a video list item let's call it that so list of videos will contain video list items now we can actually say that we want to put these as components in here now this is also this is how you make comments in jsx which is the javascript extended language we can say header and we can say search bar and we can say oops video list and that is how we do that so those are comments same as what these are here so they don't actually get rendered in code i just wanted to put those there so we know what we're doing so we can focus on each thing one at a time so the first thing i want to do is create the header now we're going to use something really cool it's going to be from we're going to import this header component from react native elements so let's just check this out quickly react native elements is a really cool package we haven't installed it yet thank you ESLN for telling me that so what I want to do is go to npm install dash dash save react native elements and we let that thing run now while I say that let me just show you the site for the documentation on react native elements so here I am on the react native elements documentation page it's specifically on buttons at the moment I'll leave this link in the description for you uh, but basically react native elements comes with a whole bunch of really cool elements that you can use that aren't part of the original react native package now what we want to use is the header so that is somewhere here oh here it is header and this shows you basically we'll make a cool header looking like this and it shows you some examples of how to make it here it consists of a left component which is that the center component and the right component and they can have icons and text and they have their colors and stuff which is really cool so you can read up all about it here there's a whole bunch of stuff showing you the different props etc that we're going to be using uh, in this case the default props they're all there it tells you what what things are going on there so let's get back to our code which is over here we've imported our header component from react native elements and we've installed react native elements as well now we can just put this right in over here like this oops header and there's our header tag now let's head back over to here to actually test what is going on right so i was having some problem getting my emulator started but here it started and i just remembered i forgot something we need to go back to our code and we need to say style equals flex one sorry colon one because this is going to make the view actually take up the whole screen and that way the header will actually appear there uh also the header might not show because we haven't got any content in the header so what i also want to do while we're at this is let's just make this background color uh dash ddd i think that's what i like to usually do it uh yeah that's my favorite way of doing this background just to make it not like the bright white in your face kind of look because we're going to be using that later on so what we actually need to do now before i demonstrate our header is let's just make some content for it so to do that i'm gonna expand this a little bit and we want to say center component because you know there was those different components we're going to work on the center one and we want our text to be there so speaking about text here we get our text and this is where we want, what we want to put in the middle of the text is we want to call this simple youtube sorry youtube spot like that search and we want to make sure that this text is white so we have to add another style element to this because otherwise it's going to be black and in this style we want to say sorry i'm really messing up here color white cool now we can actually go to this and make sure this gets up and running 
I was just busy loading, so this might take some time, so I'll skip to when it's done. Right, so as you can see here, we've got our program running, and if you can faintly see, it says simple YouTube search. Now I actually wish I kept the color black so you could read that. But the problem here is that our outer background color is actually the same color in general. The, the color just isn't there, it's transparent. Or this this DDD color might actually just be the normal default background color to this. Now I want to change that. So to change that to the red YouTube color, we're going to add another little property here. And we're going to say outer container styles. And make sure you spell that right because if you don't, this won't work. And we want to say background color. And there's a special color code for YouTube. I mean, you could just say red, but the YouTube's color is E62117. And make sure you put the hash in there to mention that it's a hexadecimal value. So now we can go back to this and it should reload if I just save it twice. I'll fast forward to when this is done. And here we have our simple YouTube search header. And well, it's a header, it does what it's supposed to do. It tells us what the app is called and it looks nice and cool and red and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna cut the video here guys. Um, if you wanna watch any more, just make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with what's going on. And if you like the video, please just leave a like and tell your friends about it, that would really help me out. Uh, another thing I did notice, uh, I forgot to make this zoomed in so you can see. So I'll try to remember in the next video to make sure everything is zoomed in so you can see the text better as we're coding. Because I know that does bug a lot of people. Sorry about that, but yes, I'll catch you guys later. Ciao!